Hello, my name is Malik Harrington, and welcome to another episode of the Family Budget Fisherman. Uh, this is a review, um, and I've, I've gotten on this little kick with reviews because we're we're in the season where it's normally a holiday season, and people are reexamining their fishing equipment and so forth, um, getting ready for the new year. We're almost at the end of a fishing season, the normal spring, fall, um, spring, summer, fall fishing season for most fishermen. And this is when, you know, they, people begin to kind of slow down and update their equipment and get ready for the new year. So I'm doing a lot of these reviews so that you have an idea of what you can purchase, even though the item is a year, two years, even three years old, that it's still good quick, uh, equipment to purchase if it's for sale somewhere. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm going to be reviewing in this one, as you read in the description, the Omen series. And the reason why I say the Omen series is because I have Omen 2s and Omen 3s. The Omen 2s are no longer, per uh, are no longer for available for sale from the manufacturer, but you may find several out there at a discount. And if you do know that you're getting a good rod, uh, there are some caveats to this um, to this selection of rods though, that I will apprise you of. So I'm gonna reach over here to my left, your right, and grab these rods. <clears throat> so I have three rods here. I have the 13 Fishings Omen. This is the Omen 2 right here. And I'm going to show you the difference between the Omen 2 and the Omen 3. The Omen 3 has a noticeably different handle, as you can see here. The Omen 3 has a noticeably different handle. Okay. Both of these are 7 foot 1s. This is a medium action reel rod, and this is a medium heavy action rod. I paired this one with 13, the Creed GT3000. Um, by 13 fishing. But before that, I paired this one with, uh, this is a Fluger, uh, the Fluger C, uh, C30, um, it, the, the Fluger XT, the, it's no longer made. It was by Bass Pro Shops and they cleared these out a couple of years ago. Um, but I still have a couple of them. It has the auger handle and everything. Looks really good. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you all, the, the same design technology with this Fluger XT, which was a $70 reel, is available with Field and Streams version of it for $35. And I'm gonna tell you, it is, at, on the low end, it's a game changer. It's been out for about a year. I haven't purchased it. Um, but I'm just gonna tell you, it's a, it's, a, it's a good looking reel. It looks like it's got good bearings and everything. And for, if you're starting out and you want something that looks good, goes with anything uh, goes with some of the uh, better equipment say if you buy a defy or you know a, a sub 100 dollar rod it will pair well with that rod so i would say give it a chance so here we have um the omen three this is a medium and this is an omen two medium heavy okay and they they have some similarities, but there there are some there are some differences. Um, this is a medium, and what I'm holding in my hand is the new one of the newer rods to my collection. This is the Omen Three, medium heavy, I believe it is. Yeah, medium heavy, and it's a seven foot one as well. So I have the three rods. The new one, the the older model sold for one hundred and ten dollars. The newer ones sell for one hundred and thirty dollars. OK, let me start right off on the criticisms of the Omen 3. Two things. Number one, the Omen 3 should have been made with um, <clears throat> they should have had longer models. So um, instead of just a 7.1, which seems to be on the lower end um, between a 6.10 and 7.1 seems to be the lion's share of 13 Fishing's rods at, at that price point. Um, when it goes up through just slightly over $100. I think this is the highest um, price rod where, and, and, I'm, and, and I don't know that based upon the Fate 3 
um, the actual black instead of that green mess that they were selling, um, or the white one, uh, which is in the Fate series. Uh, <clears throat> but seven foot one, they should have done come out with a seven four or seven six model as opposed to just stopping at a seven one. Uh, Another thing that they should have done, if you're going to sell a $130 rod, um, here is, um, and I'm going to do a review on this uh, pretty soon because I, I just haven't thrown it yet. This is the Tatula, uh, the uh, Tatula, not Elite, but the regular Tatula. This rod is $169, but this is a seven foot six, the seven six, yeah, this is a seven foot six model. They have them starting out at 7-1 for $149. So for $19 more, you could put these really good, um, what do you call them, non-tangle or tangle-free um, tangle eyes, uh, guides on there. I think that the Omen could have used that kind of upgrade, as you can see. They're good eyes, but the tangle-free design, I think, could have really had it stand out a little bit more like they have on this Tatula here. So, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a update on the Tatula and the Shimano Kirado. Um, so you have in the Omen series, <clears throat> the Omen series here, the medium heavy, the medium, and then the old, um, I showed you the two. Um, let me tell you, based upon my throwing, the two, I mean the three medium, that it is a it, it's a good rod if you're looking for uh, a, a something over a hundred dollars that gives you the value that you would need gives you the durability this rod works okay i've already cited my criticisms of it that they could have made this rod a, you know a little bit better um, but in terms of that it's a good rod to have it is it worth a hundred dollars um i would say it's worth it's slightly more expensive than it's worth because of the eyes. The eyes just give it away. Um, this rod could have been sold, could have replaced the Omen 2s for $110. I'm just gonna be straight with you. There's not much more technology in this rod than was in the two. In the two, I'm gonna tell you, I brought in some nice 10 pounders. 10 pound, I brought in 10 pound carp, 10 pound catfish, eight pound bass, you know, um, three pound crappie. I brought it in with that too, the medium heavy that is. And so with this medium, I've caught a lot of um, smaller fish. As you can see, I have my little Z-Man uh, tube uh, jig on here, tube skirt on here with a, a Berkeley mushroom head jig. So, um, and this is of course, um, uh, the Fence 215 with a uh, Trilene fluorocarbon leader. And of course, uh, my Corrado GT3000 that's on it. It's a great rod, great setup. I just would have recommended them change the, uh, change the guides and uh, put some uh, hassle-free guides. If you're gonna do $130. Now, I will say for this, I, I didn't pay the full $100 for it. I think I paid, um, I, I can't remember. It was below $100. I wanna say maybe 70 or $80 for the rod. Um, <clears throat> this one, just about got for matter of fact i can say dick sporting goods bought me this rod because with all of the discounts that i got from them um the the rewards points and so forth i i purchased this rod with just rewards points um it, it's 130 bucks and it, it was it 138 and i did i just purchased it and i did that i was choosing between the oh what is it the um a lot of people talk about it it's the x6 it's the um um not shimano <laughs> g loomis the g loomis x6 which is a 200 dollars rod i could have gotten that and paid the difference uh, and i just chose to get this because i didn't have another medium heavy um to complement um my black rod collection I have a bunch of mediums and I needed to kind of bulk up on my medium heavies above a hundred dollars. And so um, I got this, didn't pay anything for it. Um, but hey, you know, um, like I said, I'll show you guys how you can do it the way I do it in a subsequent video. 
uh, probably later on, maybe after Thanksgiving or something like that, I'll show you how you can make these purchases again. I've, I've shown you in times past, but I keep getting the question. Um, and I don't know, maybe people aren't looking at the older videos uh, slow enough. Uh, maybe you're scrubbing through, um, but I've shown you how you can do it. And I'll show you again. Maybe I'll make that an annual thing because it does change slightly uh, depending on what's available. And 2020 has been a hateful year for nearly everyone in the country. So a lot of things have also changed on that level. So um, if you were in the market and you were looking at 13 Fishing for the, for the Omen products, um, Defy Series, I will always stand by the Defy Series. They have a brand new Defy um, it's out now and it, I think the price point is either $59 or $69. It's still worth its weight in gold. Um, this Omen Series kind of couches itself. It was with the Fates. I've never tried a Fate before. I may go out and buy a Fate so that I can get experience with the Fate. But, um, but this Omen, the Omen is good. I mean, it's a really good rod. If you just wanted to buy uh, you know, something a little bit more expensive with some good technology in it, you can get it. Like I said, my only criticism is the real, the, the eyes. If you put another 10, 20 or 30 bucks on top of what you would pay, whatever you would pay for the Omen and got the Tatula, I think you'll be happier. Okay. At any rate, this is Malik Currington signing off but just let me let you know in closing please don't do anything to break your family's budget trying to get out there and fish but do everything you can to break your personal best i'll see you next time take care